All right, hey, what's happening, folks? Just watched the movie A Star is Born with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. It was actually very, very good. But it got me thinking on this whole sidetrack about, hey, career and marriage and kind of figuring out life kind of stuff. Ambition's a good thing. You know, you and I, we want to be ambitious, get after it, make our mark on the world and make an impact, kill it in career, make a lot of money, whatever. It's ambition and it's a good thing. We want ambition. We, we want to succeed and climb and yay for that, right? But uh, man, it, it seems like folks will hold up that career type ambition as the end all be all I and mean, especially amongst the celebrities that were in this movie and I'm not I'm going to try to stay away from any type of spoiler alerts and whatnot but it came down to their young fledgling romance and their marriage uh, mixed in with all their personal frailties and problems and addictions and stuff uh, all coming to the surface uh, juxtaposed with their advancement for career and fame and how, you know, it started out of this, this pure romance that w that was growing and it was fun and it was exciting. And then all of a sudden it bumps into career and there has to be this decision on, uh, uh, do we take from this so that the career can flourish? And there's all these pressures around them as well of like, don't give up on your dreams and you were meant for this. And, and man, I wonder how many marriages have been sacrificed on the altar of career and ambition. And, uh, you know, if the goal, the game, the end all, this is how you win at life is to, to hold both and not at the expense of the other. It's kind of like I need career, but it's not worth sacrificing your life for. Career, advancement, whatever your career is, it is too small and too paltry a thing to compare to the significance of a soul that knit itself to you for the rest of your life. I do in sickness and in health for rich or for poor. Man, that a soul literally looked at you and said, no matter what, even if you humiliate me, you let me down, I'll find out all the worst in you, all of your problems, all of your junk, and no matter what, I'm with you forever. Holy cow, don't you dream of throwing that away for a salary bump. What an outrageously stupid idea. And so yay for ambition, but far bigger win is the relationships that will actually mean something at the end of your life. You know, you, you can go out and you'll feel like a you've done something amazing when you get a promotion and you're, you know, top floor of whatever. I don't know your industry and I don't know what you're into. I just, I just... Know that whatever jobs we're working in our nine to five, regardless of how much, how much significance we would draw from that, uh, on our deathbeds, what will actually matter is what do your kids think about you? What does your spouse think about you? What are all the relationships think about you? Because your hard work that you're investing at your job is going to wash away. It will blow away with the wind, and in a hundred years, no one will know or really even care. But those relationships leave a legacy. Uh, those will that will carry you on. That's the stuff that actually matters in the long run. And just man, so much when we get caught up in the ambition of you got to make something of yourself. And if you can bring a, a wife along, that's great. Just as long as she doesn't get in the way too much. I'm like, dude, that's that's a recipe for disaster and failure. And it looks like the world worships vocational success far more than a successful, vibrant, growing marriage and romance or whatever relationships are. Uh, I know uh, not all of you are married, so interpret this as a just a sobering reminder that relationships, who you are, character, that kind of stuff outlives whatever your career ambitions are. So let's definitely not jump on the pendulum swing and say, hey, ambition sucks. Let me just be a hippie free spirit loving my, uh, you know, loving my fellow man. No, I mean, uh, you, we want to hold them both in a, a, a good tension where we have wonderful ambition, but holy cow, we take that person who's devoted themselves to you forever and we guard that sacred, sacred trust uh, and uh, dare to love them back the same way forever, right? So anyway, guys, uh, train hard, train smart, and uh, let's uh, let's do better together, right? See you guys.